Why would you want to put assessment into your portfolio? Well, we actually do lots of things. We think we're making an impact. And we probably even have anecdotes to share. A card from a student, maybe a free drink from the college, or even your colleagues save you a plaque. These are all wonderful things, but one success story can cover up a host of failures. And in today's culture, everybody says, show me the data. So we need to document our sources. So what do you want to measure? Well, it's probably something to do with your teaching, or maybe what you teach, or the preparation of your students, or basically just what works. So why do some students succeed and others struggle? Do students succeed in your class? Do they succeed in the next class? Are you struggling with high attrition rates? Maybe it's the approach. Maybe you want to look at uh, discussion versus lecture. Maybe it's the textbook that you've chosen. One of the others might be better. Maybe it's how you use videos in your classroom, or do they have an effect at all? How about online homework, or textbook homework, or optional homework? What's the effect? Does the class format have an effect? Online classes versus face-to-face? -face. Maybe two-day or three-day classes, or five days a week? Hybrid classes, how do they affect success? Or is success affected by reading ability? What does it take? What do you want to measure? So where will you get this data? Well, you're probably already measuring data. You have a grade book. You probably keep attendance. Or maybe you keep record of your office visits. What about my JCCC? When the students enrolled or where they live? You might have to get more information out of Banner. What about entering assessments? The Compass Test, ACT or SAT scores. Maybe you give a pretest in your course. How about a classroom survey? Have you asked your students anything lately? How much are they working in their jobs? 40 hours a week? Or how about their previous coursework? How about the resource centers? Uh, the Math Resource Center, the Academic Achievement Center, or the Writing Center? Are your students using them? There's lots of opportunity to find data on this campus, and you probably have a lot of it. So what do you want to do with the data when you have it? My question was, does online homework actually work? So I decided to use Excel to uh, collect a whole bunch of my uh, students' work, homework scores, 22 of them, for approximately 27 students or so. And we can take and compare their homework totals with their course average in the end. Uh, Excel gives me some quick pictures. Uh, here we have a, a scatter plot of the data. We can even add a trend line and uh, display the equation for mathematical types and we see just how good the correlation is. Another question I asked was, how do grades compare in courses that had online homework and did not have online homework? So I looked at their final grades. Here's spring of 2007 and fall of 2007 of a class, a college algebra class, that actually uh, the first one had no online homework and the second one did. And you can say, see that I increased the number of A's and B's. You know, the C's and D's stayed about the same. And unfortunately, I've never quite figured out how to get students who don't want to do homework to do it in any format. So the F's kind of stayed the same. And I also collected some uh, surveys and I looked at the responses that my students made on, on the survey. Uh, here, in fact, you can see the uh, uh, questions that I asked. Did they do their homework? Did the online homework help? Did they have technical issues? And I was able to uh, put that into a, uh, a, a table here, which uh, we can see. Uh, and uh, they definitely said they completed it, and in fact, I had the data. Yes, they, in fact, did complete it at that rate, uh, and they uh, did strongly agree that repetition helped, but uh, was it easy? Well, we don't always make courses easy, do we? Uh, learning is sometimes difficult. Now that you've collected all the data, how do you want to present it? You've got tables and charts that you can show. You can put it all in a short paper, add discussion to it. It probably won't be published, it's going into your portfolio. But maybe it is good enough that you will publish it. But it is evidence in your interest in improving learning. It's part of your professional growth. So if you're still lost, who can help? You ought to go visit the Office of Outcomes Assessment and visit with Sherry Barrett.